Welcome to Minikun Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate covariance and correlation coefficient in R or RStudio. Generally, we calculate covariance or correlation coefficient to when we are stating the relationship between two quantitative, in other words, two numeric variables. For example, weight and height. These are two quantitative or numeric variables. And we wish to know or we seek to know whether height increases with increasing weight or height decreases. In that case, we, we talk about what we call a positive correlation. When height increases with increasing weight, both variables increase, then it means we have a positive correlation. On the other hand, if height decreases with increasing weight, there is if an individual with um, which, uh, if a short individual uh, has enormous weight, in other words, it's, it's an overweight. If an, a short individual is an overweight, then what it means is that we have an inverse relationship. So basically, we calculate covariance to know the nature of the, the relationship. If covariance is positive, then it means there is a positive relationship or correlation between the two given quantitative or numeric variables. When covariance is negative, then it means there is a negative relationship or inverse relationship. But how do we know the strength of the relationship? For instance, if we have a covariance of 50, then it means between height and weight, then it means uh, height increases with increasing what uh, weight. But how strong is this? Uh, phenomenon or how how strong is this relationship to know this we have to calculate what we call the correlation coefficient and is usually denoted by r is, is um, r is between negative one and positive one and r is negative one exactly negative one that means they say perfect negative or inverse relationship or correlation when r is positive one it means there's a perfect positive correlation when r is zero then it means there's no relationship or correlation between the two given variables when r is between negative one and minus 0 0.5 then it implies a strong negative correlation when r is less is, is between uh, sorry positive 0 0.5 and positive one then it means there is a strong positive correlation so without wasting my time let's import our data set and start the calculations so i believe you might be conversant with how to import data into r or r studio if you don't know how to do that quickly look below in the description box and you find a video on how to import data into r or r studio so in a nutshell to import data into r there are many commands to use i prefer using read.csv2 is a file extension and you see it ends with csv telling you that a file that i'm going to import is a csv file and i'm going to name it base so i just select it and execute okay so the importation is done our data has been imported as you can see to know what it contains then we print it so after printing this is our data set so as you can see, we have the sex of the patient or the individual. We have his or her age, the height, and then the weight. So if we would like to know how many people are there or how many rows and columns, then we simply execute the dimension command, dimension, dim, into brackets, base, and it will tell us how many subjects we have. We have 237 subjects with four variables, as you can see, and then or four columns. And now let's go ahead and then uh, okay before anything let me attach our data set the attachment is important because if i don't attach the data set then anytime i want to write for example h i will have to or height or whatever variable that i want to write i'll have to say base which is the name of my data set dollar the variable in question so to prevent this I just simply attach the data set. So if I want to write height, I just simply write height. So to do that, we say attach to brackets base. I name my data set base. Could call it database. Okay. 
so let's attach and the attachment is done okay perfect and now we can go ahead and uh, calculate our, our covariance and then our co uh, correlation coefficient so to calculate the covariance is very simple we simply use the command co cof covariance into brackets the name of the variables in question we want to calculate let's assume we want to study the relationship between these two set of quantitative data height and weight so we simply write height which is a numeric variable or quantitative variable comma then we write the other variable which is weight if i had not attached my data set i would have had to write base dollar height and then base dollar weight but since i attach it, you see that it's much more simpler this way so height covariance of height and weight if i should execute this it will calculate it for us okay it's telling us that the covariance the covariance is uh, 59.4 which implies a positive correlation or a positive relationship because it's positive if they were negative then that would have implied a negative relationship but since it's positive this implies a positive relationship between height and weight in other words height increases with what increasing weight an individual who is tall is likely to be overweight in quotes okay but how do we know the strength of this relationship you know like is it uh, a very is is it a, is it you know is the relationship in other words the correlation very strong or weak you know so to know this we have to calculate the correlation coefficient so and to do that we simply do our co a correlation and to do that like the command is cor for correlation into brackets you repeat the same thing height comma weight you spell your variables as you've written them or as is written in the data set okay so if we execute this it gives us a correlation coefficient of what 0 0.77 or 0 0.77 something and this implies this is between 0 0.5 and positive 1 positive 0 0.5 and positive 1 so this tells us that there is a strong positive correlation or relationship between what height and weight it means an individual who is tall will definitely uh, weigh a lot you know so this is how to we calculate covariance and correlation coefficient in r or r studio actually did it in r but it's the same thing in r studio and uh, I hope it's clear. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to uh, leave your comments and I will reply if possible with a video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.